Good evening and welcome to News World. Thanks for joining us. Even if it has been a glum day on the money front, what with share prices tumbling at stock markets around the country and overseas. And taking a cue from last Friday's Wall Street plunge, the Sydney market took a sickening dive but stopped short of repeating the Black Monday crash of 87. Europe also caught the virus, Paris and London markets opening with a host of sell orders and no one anxious to buy. Mid-session trading in London saw 200 points whittled away as the market dropped almost 9%. This has been seen as an uncompleted backlog of Friday sell-offs rather than an anticipation of a disaster on Wall Street. But that is now where all the eyes in the money world are focused. We have a pre-trading report on Wall Street coming up in a few moments. But first, this account of today's events from Lee Hatcher. The morning frenzy began in New Zealand. It was the world's first market to open after Wall Street's Black Friday. It fell by nearly 12% in morning trading. It's the emotion. 87's uh, not that long ago. People still feel the worst. Two hours later in Sydney, The early signs were ominous. Within the first half hour of trading, the All Ordinaries Index was down 150 points. The worry beads were working overtime. The morning slide wiped off 7% of the market's value, or $12.5 billion. But within an hour, it had steadied. The stock market fell 6 or 7%, because the stock market had gone up 14% in the last three months. There's no national disaster by the stock market. But later in the day, the market took another dive to close 141 points down. Still nothing like the 516-point crash of 1987. While all that was going on, Alan Bond continued his massive sell-off of assets with the sale of his international gold arm to a Canadian company for nearly half a billion dollars. Over